Hey everyone, it's Liz from blueandhazel.com. Welcome to my channel, and if you're new here, I'm glad you're here. I hope you'll stick around, hit the subscribe button, and um, hit the bell if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload new videos. So today's video, I want to go ahead and show you how to create a make your own card from Yodo using um, the Yodo Mini and a make your own card. You'll also need your computer and you will need um, your phone um, with the Yodo app downloaded on your phone. So I went ahead and bought a couple packs of these actually. There's five in a, a box. Um, they're five for $15. And this is the affordable way to make audiobooks that your kids can listen to chapter by chapter. They can adjust the volume and then they can rewind or fast forward chapter by chapter. If you um, have the files on your computer already, and you can make your own card whether it's music or audiobooks. So um, the place that we use, um, we are pretty new to this, but the place that we have used so far um, to find a lot of our Ambleside online books is called LibriVox.com. And I will leave that link in the description for you. But people have volunteered their time to basically read these recordings of books. And so you can search there and see which ones you want to download. But you'll have to have all of the files downloaded to your computer or your phone to make this work um, because you'll need to basically upload those to the website first to make a playlist. If you've never um, logged into Yodo, you will need to start a Yodo login um, at yodo.com. Then up here on the top, you'll see there's um, a make your own menu. So go ahead and click there and it'll take you to this page. Then you're going to want to make a playlist. So visit library make playlist. Click that orange button, it'll take you here. And these are the books in my library that we've made so far and playlists. Um, so the last one I did was called Children of the New Forest and LibriVox had several recordings of that one. So I just listened to samples of both and then picked the one I liked the best. Um, but those are free and then now those files are on my computer. And so I had to um, go ahead and click add playlist and then it will give you the option to upload audio file. And so you will want to upload all of your songs or all of your audio files from um, a book that you have downloaded. And basically, I think there were, for Children of the New Forest, there were 27 audio files um, from LibriVox. And I uploaded all of those and it processed them into 27 chapters. And so um, one card, I think, can hold up to 100 songs or 100 chapters. And so, um, you know, you could have multiple books on one card hypothetically, but um, the other thing you can do with the make your own card is you can delete a story and reuse it and re-upload new files. So once you have your playlist on the computer, you're done with that. Now you're gonna need to get your phone, which I can't show you right now. I'm actually recording with my phone, um, but you'll need to open up the Yodo app. So if you have a paper and pencil, this might be really helpful to write these steps down. So go ahead and open up your app and step one, look on the bottom of your screen and there should be my library. Go ahead and click into my library. So step two, you're going to look at the top of your phone on the app and you'll see a button that says more in the corner with a little kind of V next to it. Go ahead and click that. All right, step three, go ahead and click make your own. And then you will wanna take your card that you have and fit it into your Yodo, just all the way down like that. And then um, once you have that ready to go and it's turned on, um, this needs to also be connected to your internet, by the way. So um, this particular one, I have not um, set up to our new Wi-Fi yet. So um, I can't go ahead and do that quite yet till I connect it. If you haven't, they have instructions for that on the Yoda website. Um, but if you've already connected it and you've already started using it, then you can skip that step. Okay, so now that you've got your card in there and you have clicked in the app, make your own, um, Step four is to link to a card. So press that button that you see that says link to a card. And step five, there should be a button on the bottom that says use Yodo player because you're going to be syncing it using your Yodo player. For you, step six, um, just check right here for a green check mark. And that means that your files from your computer 
or from their website um, on your playlist have now synced to this card and you should be able to use it. So hopefully that was really simple. If you need to go back to the beginning of this video and listen to those directions again, go ahead and do that. Really, um, it's super simple once you get it. Just remember, you need to own the files. You need to go to the website and create a playlist. Then next, you need to um, insert your blank card into here and open up your phone app on the Yodo and follow the, um, the instructions um, that I've listed or you know you can always do your best to try to follow their instructions inside of the app to make your own card and then that's all you have um, if you need like a special carrying case or anything um, I got this one on Amazon here and um, this is a nice little case that came with a strap and I just felt like it was a good way to kind of keep everything together and um, you can tuck your Yodo right into there like that. And then all of your extra cards can get tucked into there. Um, and headphones also can sit right here. But um, my plan with these is that through Amblesite Online, there are a lot of free read books and I'd like to put some of those for the kids on Make Your Own Cards. I know a lot of other families also kind of decrease the burden of the parent reading to the non-readers um, by putting some of those actual scheduled reads um, onto a make your own card as well. Some parents also put songs like the folk songs onto um, a Yodo card if they own the folk songs. And so you can, you know, do whatever that you'd like to do. But um, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope that you'll go try your first one and it goes really smoothly. Thanks for watching.